hey guys welcome back to my channel with COVID going on my local Tuesday mornings have been closing really early and I just can't ever seem to get there after work and my weekends have been so busy I haven't been able to go to my favorite spot so I happen to be in the neighborhood and there is a local TJ Maxx so I'm gonna step inside and see what they got so right near the front door was a great selection of handbags. They had a variety of name brands such as Kate Spade, Coach, and Marc Jacobs. Excellent quality. You know, it's the end of the summer. Discount prices that range from $89 to about $129, which is really a great price for that type of a bag. That's a floor print Kate Spade. It's a navy blue and a creamy peachy color uh, handbag. Really pretty. Not my cup of tea but excellent quality now i love that coach tote bag and that i guess it's a dark camo that was going for 89.99 i've been on the tote bag thing um a little bit too much for me for just a tote bag i already have several and it was a really beautiful black bag i think i can't remember if that was a coach or kate spade i think it was a kate spade no that's a coach bag really pretty uh, another bag, black, just your classic Kate Spade handbag, and that one was going for $89.99. You can see that uh, at TJ Maxx, I had them all worked together, and that was a really nice bag. I think it was going for about $149. I think it was one of the Coach bags. I don't remember. <laughs> Sorry. But just a great selection of handbags, and I just kept on perusing. I like that hobo style. I did not recognize that particular designer the leather felt really good that was going for 129 and uh bradley or brewery or I, I have no idea um and that bag right there that um animal skin now that one kept flopping over because it was so heavy uh, i kept flopping over but that animal print what is that alligator I don't know what that is. It was so nice and soft. Um, we are snake skin. I, I'm not sure. Uh, put a comment in the comment section if you know what kind of skin that pattern that was. Really just beautiful bag and the leather was so soft. And there's another tote bag that was a bag within like three bags. And no, a bag that had three other bags in it. That was only one for $19.99. I almost bought the vegan leather bag really nice really soft $29.99 and uh just a beautiful color and if you're in the market for a book bag then TJ Maxx has plenty of book bags let me add that this video is not sponsored they had canvas they had vinyl they had all types of bags as you know book bags are really in nowadays they had black i think that's a mark jacobs bag and uh or maybe not not the best shot of that bag and then you had the green and the black one i saw a bag very similar to that in the kate spade store this one was significantly uh, less expensive and uh, in the 39 49 dollar range then you know, if you're in the market for a nice pair of sunglasses, it's at the end of the season. They had a huge selection, and most of those were going for about $5.99 to $9.99. A lot of Jessica Simpson sunglasses, you know, different shades, um, excuse me, different shapes. Uh, I tend to not spend too much on sunglasses because I have a tendency to lose them. So they had a small selection of jewelry just out on the floor. Really delicate and pretty. I tend to not wear necklaces that are too delicate. They just get lost on me. I'm, you know, I'm a bigger girl. Um, but they had some pretty earrings and um, bracelets and just some little, um, nice little accessory pieces. Uh, the animal print was really pretty. They had some really nice necklaces. I have quite a bit of jewelry already, so I have not been investing uh, in new um, jewelry to accessorize outfits. So been exactly 
three mask interventions because people were in the store without masks and one of the managers did confront them and offer them a mask and then stood around until they put one on. So TJ Maxx is on it with the COVID protocol. They had a huge selection of skincare, all types of skincare, retinol, hyaluronic acid, rosehip oil, coconut oil and rosehip, Clinique, uh, other brands. In a different part of the store, they had some um, La Mercier foundations. They also had some Marc Jacobs skincare products. It was very well stocked. Um, in that shot, I was holding a Clinique cartridge, oil cartridge of some type. I'd never seen it before. I never used it before, but they had it. They had a lot of, as I said, retinol, uh, anti-aging products, lots of serums. I was hoping that I could find a hyaluronic acid that I like. When I use it regularly, I literally could tell the difference with my skin. I had never heard of that brand in the past and picked it up. Um, cost less than ten dollars and it worked perfectly so um but i think i'm just gonna have to buy that from the manufacturer but yeah tj maxx had a lot of skincare i kept making my way through the store they had some slippers and now that i think about it august is probably a really good time to buy some uh, nice warm slippers but that didn't cross my mind until after i left the store um, I often wear slippers in the house, but I don't have that are any that are nice and warm and, and furry and soft. So I may have to go back and pick up some slippers. So they had a nice little selection of slippers. You may want to check them out sometime. Again, the video is not sponsored. So right from the corner from the slippers was the basket section. Uh, it looked like it had been pretty well cleaned out, but they did have some variety. I have been making a conscious effort to declutter my home, and I actually have baskets that used to store craft materials that I have moved to a cabinet, and so now I have all these baskets. So uh, I just went on right past the baskets because I already have more than I need, and I'll either donate them, give them away to a friend, um, or yeah, find some use for them in the home. You know, it's always interesting when you go to the clearance section in a store like TJ Maxx because the prices tend to be so low. But in the clearance section, they had a variety of things. They had some 2020 graduate uh, photo albums and little books or journals where you could just, you know, write a classmate a note. I also had picture frames and wine glasses and what I would call doodads, just sort of miscellaneous things, lots of mugs uh, that were sewn together in uh, an ink cap, and then a whole section that's under development. I took a brief little gander through the shoe section. They had lots of sandals on sale, some of my size. I do have big feet, and I thought those sandals right there were just really cute. And they had them for a really good price. But I've been fortunate to pick up a few pairs of shoes lately. So I knew that I wouldn't purchase any shoes because I have some and I have a few pairs I haven't even worn yet. But they had a nice little selection of um, sandals. They had some really cute items in the houseware section and quite a bit of Mickey Mouse themed products. Those plates were nice, simply black and white, line drawing style. They did have some Mickey Mouse um, items that were in color, but I did notice that those were uh, glass. So uh, if you had, um, the very first thought I had was, wow, somebody <laughs> in my house would break that um, plate. <laughs> but, you know, just really cute Mickey Mouse uh, glassware if you're into that. And pretty inexpensive per plate. 
they had a nice selection of lunch bags and I didn't purchase one I am looking for another insulated lunch bag you can see they have the monkey bag there I think it was $12.99 the tag didn't quite come into focus and they had some others as well I have an insulated lunch bag and it's it's very large so I want a smaller one but it has to be large enough for my glass containers I find that the lunch bags tend to be um, too just too small but mine is definitely too big they had some trays and I thought oh what a good idea but I did just purchase some of the um, foldable or collapsible trays that you can get from Ikea um, that go in the drawer so I didn't pick up any of those and then they just have some little doodads I really like the coasters they were very heavy and I thought you know with all the glass I don't know with the little kid uh, running around the baby you know it, it would be real simple for um, that coaster to crack the glass lots of little snacks you know how it is and TJ Maxx and they had their fall decorations out like many stores they had the cutest pumpkins and they also had a Halloween setup off over to the right if you get into Halloween but I like the fall decorations I just don't have space to store seasonal decorations so I tend to do the minimum and let's see lots of picture frames as uh, usual you can get just about any style of picture frame that you want uh, at uh, TJ Maxx and, and stores like it. And just little things that you would use to decorate your desktop. I think that's what I'm looking Oh no, that's the journals, the planners. I never saw a journal that I didn't like, y'all. I love notebooks, journals, paper, stationery, and so I looked around, but I made sure I didn't buy a thing. I put it back because I already had plenty. That is a uh, Me and My Big Ideas set, and it was really inexpensive. Uh, and like I said, I have plenty of planners, so I put that down. They had some artwork, you know. Um, sorry, guys, I'm not a photographer for this footage is not that great. Uh, but I hope you can see that they had some really nice artwork, uh, photos, um, prints, um, mirrors, and the like, so that you could decorate your home. I really like that blue one. That was really pretty. And... Uh, if, if I had my brothers, I would have a lot more art hanging up around my home, but there's just no room for it. Um, nice selection of shears and pillows. I love pillows, and I used to have a lot of throw pillows on the couch in the love seat, but it was just, they, they actually got in the way. <laughs> of seating, um, sitting comfortably so I don't have as many throw pillows as I used to. If you are a pet lover then you would have been very well pleased with this section because they had a lot for the little doggy in your life. Hey guys I'm back from my trip to TJ Maxx and I'm delighted to show you what I got so here it goes. The first thing I got was a coffee scoop. It is a progressive long handle for scooping out of tall bags. It costs $2.99. And the reason I bought this, we drink a lot of coffee at my house and I just wanted a nice stainless steel scoop. So here you go, $2.99 TJ Maxx, regularly $4. It's a dollar off, okay? The other thing I got, I really wanted a pair of these, and it may seem a little mundane, but some cuffed gloves. Sparkling Goddess by Boston Warehouse. Cuffed gloves, orange with a nice floral print, and these were also $2.99. I don't know, there you go, that's the price tag. So I don't know about you, but I often don't wear gloves when I'm doing housework and it'll definitely ruin a manicure. So yeah, excited about these. Just a simple purchase. 
And yeah, I know I could have got some from the Dollar Tree, but I didn't want to. And I got a wonderful candle. It is sand and fog teak wood. It is a soy wax candle. Isn't that a beautiful container? And it has a beautiful lid. Remove the lid. There we go. It's a mountain scene. That is, there we go. Really, really pretty. Looks like a mountain and a lake. Reminds me of Colorado. It smells wonderful. It smells absolutely wonderful. It was $7.99. I really like large candles like this. It has two wicks. And I don't ever want to spend $20 for a candle. TJ Maxx had a great selection. And let me just say this. This video is not sponsored. None of my videos are sponsored. But I'm not opposed to a sponsorship if you get my drift. So yeah, this is a very nice candle. It smells wonderful. It's also got a real classic container with that frosted blue glass. And it's like a goldish, um, I don't know what color that is. It's like a soft matte gold. It's really pretty, so yeah. Please with this. And I got some art. And I gotta admit, I was very much attracted to the words. So it's just blue, as you can see, kind of matches the candle. And I'll read it. When women support women, incredible things happen. Empowered women empower women. And it was only $9.99. There we go, $9.99. And it says, a punch studio gallery showcases an extensive collection of original designs created by a team of talented artists in Culver City, California. So yeah, I'm gonna have to find a great spot in my office to hang this. Okay, so I got that. And I also looked up and found some Clinique. This is Clinique Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly. And it says on here, anti-pollution. I, I don't know how this is an anti-pollution product. <clears throat> I purchased some product from the store and received a gift with purchase. And it was a miniature size Clinique Hydrating Jelly, which I'd never used before. And I've been using it and it is great. I do have dry skin. I cleanse my skin and I'm using a different system. Okay, I'm not using Clinique, uh, but I've been using the hydrating jelly and it is great. So this is what it looks like. And out of the, out of the box in the packaging, it is a pump. And it's got these little, I don't know what those little bubbles are. Maybe it's just because it's a jelly and it goes on very well. I can tell the difference in my skin. Like I said, I do have dry skin and I like this because um, I put other products and on top um, and it, there haven't been any interaction. So I do like this again, not sponsored, uh, but if you have dry skin, you may want to try this out. And it costs, um, you know, Clinique is kind of pricey, pricey. It costs $16.99 and it's regularly um, $25, it says. And I didn't price it, uh, but I know it costs more than $16.99. And this is 4.2, let me show you again. It's 4.2 fluid ounces. A little goes a long way. So I'm excited about this. I got a really good deal on it. Um, I was looking to see if there was an expiration date on here. You know, you got to check that products are not expired. I don't see an expiration date on here. So, yeah. Clinique Hydrating Jelly. And I also bought, I've been on a little bit of a purse binge, but I don't want to spend a whole lot of money on purses. Um, this is just a basic tote bag. I'm gonna scoop back a little bit so you can see it. I like this little detail on the front. So it's just a taupe, I guess is the color. Um, 
not a designer brand, Leter Leter Fashion, Leter okay, I cannot pronounce that. There it is. And it was $19.99, says regularly $30. I'm not particularly familiar with this brand. I do like tote bags. And I love that it had a bag inside of the bag. And this little bag, which could definitely be across the body bag, had the same detail. You can see I haven't unwrapped all the packaging yet. And it had a nice sturdy strap. I like the little gold detail. And what I like is that they gave me two straps, not just one. It is a zip enclosure. So nice and sturdy, I like that. The tote bag is a good size. I do have a MacBook for work and it will definitely fit in here. I think it's a 13 inch MacBook. Uh, and it has a strap. And it is a zip enclosure. I like tote bags that zip because I like to close things up. And it has a couple of pockets on the inside. It is lined, so you got room for your phone. You see in there. So two, two pockets right there, and then a big zippered pocket right here. So, and it's nice and deep. Like I said, it's lined. So yeah, so I, I, I like this tote bag, $19.99. You can fit a lot in here. Um, so it'll be a good, sturdy work bag. And it is quite thick. It's quite thick, so I really like this. And last but not least, <clears throat> I purchased a Chi. This is a Rose Noir, one ink ceramic hair styling iron for silky smooth hair. It goes from 310 degrees up to 410 degrees. It comes with a bag. And what, I've been wanting to curl an iron. Now, I have, um, I mean a flat iron. I have natural hair. Um, you know, there's been so much controversy over, is it really 4C hair? I don't know if my hair is really 4C hair. It looks like 4C and maybe a little bit of 4B mixed up in there. But I can tell you, I haven't straightened my hair often. And But when I do, it just, it stretches, but it doesn't silk. So I'm actually going to see if I can do a silky press uh, on my own hair at home. And if you're one of those natural hair purists and you object to heat, oh well. That's your hair, not mine. Anyway, it comes with a little case. And it is, let's see. You get this out the packaging. It's a nice color. She is a good brand from what I've heard. I've never owned a cheap iron, flat iron. And I can tell you, I've never spent this much on a flat iron or a hair straightener as they're called now. So yeah, it's got a good weight to it and the ceramic plates. So I'm going to give this a try. This was my most expensive purchase. It was $69.99. Regularly priced 120. If you use this brand, you know that uh, 69.99 is actually a good price for the flat iron. So let me give you a close up of the iron. Let me know in the comment section if you've ever used uh, one of these Chi uh, straighteners and if you've got natural hair. Um, and if it has worked for you, I would love to know. Okay, so yeah. That's my TJ Maxx haul. I prefer Tuesday morning and haven't been able to get to it lately, like I said uh, at the beginning of the video, uh, but I was able to go today to Tuesday morning. So stay tuned for that video. I hope all is well in your world. Thanks for hanging out with me. And until next time, be blessed. Bye now.